Hello everyone, I am Rajan. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can calculate the NS Fibonacci numbers without generating n minus 1 precedence. We all know the definition of Fibonacci numbers, which is given here, and there exists one more relation uh, which I have written here, which is f of 2n can be written as f of n square plus f of n plus 1 square and f of 2n can be written as 2 times f of n into f of n plus 1 plus f of n plus 1 square. So our problem here is uh, how we can apply this relation to find the nth Fibonacci numbers. So let's try to find the 20th Fibonacci numbers and 13th Fibonacci number by our doubling method. As we know that for calculating f of 2n, we need f of n and f of n plus 1. So in our example for calculating f of 20 that is 20th Fibonacci number, we need f of n which is half of 20 that is f of 10 and f of n plus 1 which is f of 11. Again, we have to calculate f of 10 and f of 11. So for calculating f of 10, we need f of 5 and f of 6 which is half of 10 uh, like 2n is 10 so n is 5 and n plus 1 is 6 so for calculating f of 5 this one is this part f of 2n plus f of 2n plus 1 so f of 2n plus 1 is 5 so our n is 2 and f of n plus 1 that is f of 3 from this formula and uh, for calculating f of 2 we need f of 1 and f of and by the definition of Fibonacci series, we know uh, what is f of 1 and what is f of 2. Uh, like this is 0 and this is 1. And we also know from this, this formula that by f of n and f of n plus 1, we can only calculate f of 2n and f of 2n plus 1. So let's apply this to our problem. Now uh, we have f of n and f of n plus 1, like f of 1 and f of 1 plus 1. So we can only calculate f of 2n and f of 2n plus 1 in this case f of 2n is uh, 2n to 1 which is 1 and f of 2n plus 1 is f of 3 so we can directly calculate this part by doubling method but the problem arises in this part here n is 2 so we can only calculate 2n and 2n plus 1 at term like in this case we can only calculate f of 4 and f of 2n plus 1 which is 5 and for calculating f of 10 we need f of 5 and f of 6 and here in this problem we have uh, generated f of 5 but we need f of 6 and in this case f of 6 can be calculated by our standard formula which is f of k is f of k minus 1 plus f of k minus 2 and we can calculate f of 6 by f of 4 and f of 5 now we have calculated f of 5 and f of 6 here our n is 5 so we can calculate 2n and 2n plus 1 that is f of 10 and f of 11 so we can directly calculate f of 10 and f of 11 by our doubling uh, method which is this part and from f of 10 and f of 11 we can directly calculate f of 20 so we have seen that how we can calculate f of 20 by our method but the problem ar arises how we can know that uh, where we have to use this part standard one to calculate the next number like f of 6 so for solving this problem we use binary representation of the given number like binary representation of 20 is given here like 10100 0, 0. and i have written this binary representation from left to right as this part top to down like first digit is this second third fourth and fifth and we can observe here that uh, from this part to this part we calculated directly and this part also we have calculated directly and this part also we have calculated directly but we have used the standard method for calculating this part so we can see from here that whenever the next binary digit is zero we can directly calculate in this part you can also see that this binary digit and this binary digit we can directly calculate this part but for this part we have binary digit as 1 that's why we have applied the standard method to calculate the next Fibonacci number so let's try to do the same for the uh, calculating of the 13th Fibonacci number so binary representation of 13 is 1001 and I have written it at, like this and now as the 
this part the next binary digit is 1 we have to apply the standard method like we first find f of 2n which is 2 and f of 2n plus 1 which is 3 and using this we will find f of 4 so now we have f of 3 and f of 4 we have get this part and from this part we can directly calculate this because the next binary digit is 0 so we can directly calculate this part and as the next binary digit is 1 we should apply the standard method uh, to calculate this like from this we can calculate f of 13 and f of 12 but what we have seen here that we have the pairs of the Fibonacci numbers so the next number will be f of 14 so for calculating f of 14 we need f of 13 and f of 12 like we use the standard one f of 13 plus f of 12 will give f of 14 so let's try to uh, apply this method first thing we have to do is we have to calculate the binary digits of the given number and store it in the reverse manner in an array like we have done in the previous example the binary digit is this and we have stored it in the reverse manner in an array of a and the second step we have to do is we have to calculate the f of 2n by this manner and f of 2n plus 1 that is in our case of uh, the previous example from f of n and f of n plus 1 we have calculated f of 2n and f of 2n plus 1 and the third thing is whenever we are having the binary digit is 0 we will replace f of n with f of 2n and f of n plus 1 with f of 2n plus 1 like in the previous example we have f of n as 1 and f of n plus 1 as 2 and we have calculated f of 2n f of 2n plus 1 and now for the calculation of the next uh, set we have replaced these numbers with f of n and f of n plus 1 and we can see that uh, we have directly converted this set f of 1 and f of 2 to f of 2 and 3 directly because we are getting a3 uh, as 0 but in the next case for a2 we are getting 1 uh, so by this f of 2 and f of 3 by doubling method we can only generate f of 2 n which is 4 and f of 2 n plus 1 which is 5 and we have to generate this set f of 5 and f of 6 so f of 6 will be generated with f of n plus f of n plus 1 in this case f of 4 and f of 5 so whenever we will be getting ai as 1 we will be replacing f of n with f of 2n plus 1 and f of n plus 1 by f of 2n plus 1 plus f of 2n